let's get right into it. Yo, what up, this your man V, and we back with another one. This time I'm gonna show you how to do a razor and get a beard really, really, really right. Hopefully this technique comes to you the same way it came to me very easily. Once I got the game, it changed my game and I was able to up my skill set and then my phone never stopped ringing. I've been doing razor sharp lines ever since. It took a little bit of practice, but once I got it down pat, I was able to lace it crazy. And once I was lacing it crazy, you know, I was making money. There's a lot of different things I can teach here, you know what I mean? But one thing I wanna do is teach you something positive that can get you, hopefully get you out of your situation, get your barber career moving, and I'm gonna keep bringing these videos to you. It's about getting those beards razor sharp, the way people like them. From, from what I've seen in my work that I've done in my path in the barber career, you know, people love when I do their beards this way, unless they don't like the razor on their face. Cyber Monday, so we're doing a deal on OneBarberBox.com where you get your first box 50% off with the promo code MONDAY. We got some fully stocked boxes ready to go. So get in the game and get what you need. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't play. Don't play. Get your box. This is a perfect gift. Perfect gift. You know, we get DMs on Instagram and Facebook about this barber box. A lot of people like this service. And when you receive these boxes, Send your videos, I'll add them. I'll add them to the Fade and Flow YouTube page. And you know, you can get, you can get some shine too. I, I want you to take this game and use it, man. Don't let the game die. We gotta keep it going, man. It's a lot of people out here that just cut hair and they're not really nice. We need more barbers in the world. When I, when I hit that switch and that light bulb ding came above, came above my mind that I got something here, you see where we at. Videos coming out back to back. We got the barber box, the shop going, and I want all these great things for you. So make sure you subscribe to the page, subscribe to the box. This your man V from Fade and Full, where we created the barber box. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. I already lined up the bottom with my T outliners and I hit it with the cold shaver just so I can get that close look. You see the top is looking rough. I'm gonna get a little closer so you can see. See all that hair up top? We're gonna get all that. On this step right here, you can use cream. I prefer hot foam. Some people use gel. Anything, anything like that, you know, works. I prefer the hot foam because it makes the hair really soft. And it's like cutting a hot knife. It's like a hot knife going through butter. After you fully cream the area, you just use your comb to wipe it off. Wipe the cream on a clean towel just so you can see everything. And this guy wants to move. See how people do me? <laughs> but you just wipe it off so you can see everything. Oh my God, are you gonna sit still or what? What's going on? <laughs> oh my God. Fake star with no way. Now that I have the cream wiped off, I'm gonna show you exactly, this is where I'm putting my line. You see where I'm waving my comb? That is exactly where I'm gonna be using the razor, only those areas. So I comb the hair down first. And then I make my line first, before I get all the stubble. You hold the razor at a, at a 40, de 40 degree angle toward the skin. And you just, Move it down just a little bit, just to cut the hairs where you're making a line. You start with your line, and you pull the skin up so that the hairs stand up. And what I like to do is, is pull the cheek straight up so that I can just make a straight line. Once you pull the skin up, you use your razor to make a straight line, and once you let it go, then you have your curve. I'll explain this technique in a minute. Fake star with no way. specific shot explains exactly what I'm talking about pulling the skin up so that you get a straight line and when you let it go you have a curve now you can 
You can pull it up just a little bit and make your own curve. I prefer to pull it straight. Now you see the straight line, straighten it out with your razor. And when I let it go, you'll have a perfect curve. Boom, right there. Once your line is sharp, that's when you start to get the stubble. And make sure you get all the stubble. I hate when I get my beard done, the barber hands me the mirror and it just looks like it wasn't even done. People want sharpness. That area where you where you use the razor should look like a baby's ass. Like you should not see any hair, no stubble at all. I'm not saying press hard to where you cut people, you may draw a little blood, but don't cut people. Just cut the hair. Again, I want to explain to you that this will take some practice. So make sure you pull the skin in the opposite direction than the direction that you're using the razor in. And use it at an angle where you're not hitting the people, hitting, hitting the person's nose or lip. You know, it just takes a little practice. Sometimes you might have to use the corner, but this thing is really coming together. And just hold the nose up because you know you can't really stretch that skin. And also I forgot to add, make sure your hands are clean. If your hands ain't clean, then use some gloves, bro. Nobody want to be getting cut with no stinky barber, man. And that's my secret sauce for doing beards. These same tips on the left side, I'll skip that and come back with the after and we'll compare the before and after so you can see the difference. Wait, I forgot, I can't skip this. There's hair underneath the mustache near the lip. You gotta get that too. If you need to get it with trimmers, that's fine. If you can't angle the razor to get in there, me, I like to hit it all with the razor. Get in there, make sure you get that. I hate when I get my beard done and look in the mirror. I don't wanna see any hairs around my lips, anything. I don't like hair in my mouth, like curling over my lips. I don't like hair going into my mouth, none of that. Make sure you get all of that. All right, there's our final product, a sharp beard. Let me show you the before so you can really see how it is. That's both sides, let's see the before. Uh, you see the difference. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.